And we're back with some more Into the Breach. And today we're going to be starting off with this mech here and make a few minor changes to it to make it just that little bit more smashy. It has been pointed out to me that we earned a reactor core already so we can get rid of the move, uh, install that core, uh, give ourselves double shot, and now we've got a Titan that can charge across the map and smash things really hard in the face. Twice, so long as we don't move it first. That seems like it might be interesting. Now let's go pick a fight somewhere. I was thinking two stars seems great. Defend the terraformer and terraform the grassland back to desert? What? I think we have to, well, destroy all the greenery, which, um... Okay, fine. Uh, we'll, we'll give that a go. Let's see what we're facing here. We're facing big brain and, uh... Ooh, some medium-sized ones. Let's deploy ourselves accordingly. First up, we'll go with Punchy in the face mech. They can go right there, then we'll put the tank right there, and artillery can go at the rear. And what do you do? You have uh, eradicate all life in front of the terraformer. Right. That is, um... That's awesome. What are you going to do to us, buddy? Right then, let's give this stuff a go. This terraform unit is under control, this use it to turn grass tiles into sand tiles. So if we do this, it will hopefully kill everything in that area. We still have to use this to destroy like one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, we gotta basically use this to destroy all the grasslands, and it's gonna take us exactly four turns to do it to destroy all of it. So um Yeah, let's do that real quick, shall we? You. Wow, that thing makes a big mess. I think for our next move, we'll move our artillery over here. Uh, then we can fire our artillery like this, which will knock that guy right back in the way of that. Whatever's trying to spawn there is going to have problems now. Uh, ooh. We're going to do their mech. Actually, you can go back here. And your job is to shoot that thing out of the way. Perfect. And then... Ooh. I kind of actually want to stand on this thing and kill that. It might be an idea. I would prefer to keep the numbers down. And if we're standing on top of this tile, we can at least attack. If we try and move anywhere in here, there's going to be smoke in the way and all sorts of stuff. Actually. Yeah, no, we got to kill that guy. He's going to attack that building. I should have been paying more attention to that. Actually, I just realized we can't get close enough to that guy. However, I think there is an option. We are going to attack the mountain. Yes, I know. This sounds insane, but hear me out. We hurt the mountain, but then we still have another attack. Since we didn't move, we get to attack twice. And since our attack is a dash, we get to smack this guy in the face. And Kaplawi, he's off the map. Done. Problem solved. Already that little ability is paid for itself. No, oh, no, you're not spawning, buddy. And yeah, where are their bugs going to go? Attacking a building, and you are going to attack the terraformer. Oof. Well, that's... Nice that you're trying to attack the terraformer, but I'm sorry you have to... Actually, I'm not sorry you have to die. We could also attack here and completely kill the thing that's trying to spawn. But I think here is probably the best bet. I would prefer to kill this bug. Yeah, bug goes down. Uh, this guy's attacking right. Hmm. I think we'll just leave our judo mech type thing here. It can stay on top of this tile to stop stuff spawning. Uh, it'll take an extra point of damage, but I'm kind of okay with that. You. Punch that there. You move over here. And... Yeah, I think that works out perfectly. And now you're dead. And you, why don't you do a quick repair? And... Um, does that actually work? Oh. Perfect! End turn. Um... Wow, you can repair and then you can attack afterwards? Oh, wow. That is... That's awesome. Can you repair twice? You know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's just end the turn. We've done everything we need to do this round. Okay, then. Uh, victory in three turns. Okay, 
okay, you're attacking a building, so we're going to have to kill you. You actually provide a passive health bonus to everything, is it? It seems like it. Yep, all other Vec receive plus one HP. That's bad. That means everything takes a, is a little bit harder to kill. I would prefer if that thing died. So, tell you what. We could kill you there, or we could destroy this section here. For our next trick, I think we're just going to use the terraformer to annihilate this section here. Uh, we have to do this section and then that, so might as well. Uh, then this guy over here can pop over to this section. And the reason we want to do this, we want to knock this guy away from the buildings, and this artillery is only going to get it really one chance to do it, which is right here. If we move this around at all, we're going to end up with a huge problem, so... I mean, if we try and move it with the tank first, we end up with massive problems. So that moves it out of the way, and then this guy can then... Ooh. You know what? Let's get you forward a bit so you're in a better position. Ah, uh, bug dies. And what we can do here is... We're going to smack you, and then we're just going to smack you a second time. And you're dead. Getting XP on that smasher mech is just incredibly easy. All right. Uh, end turn, I believe. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Everyone else has, yeah, expended their abilities. I believe we're dealing with three enemies now, and this is the last round. Okay. Huh. So you're going to try and do three damage. Unfortunately, you're surrounded on a bunch of sides, which makes this really awkward. We would like to attack you, but I think uh, our only choice there is going to be to move the artillery there, push you out. Hmm. I think this seems fairly straightforward, and we can get a whole bunch of experience for this mech over here if we do it right. So the plan would be we move this guy over here. Uh, oh. Yeah, we got to do this first, I believe. You see... The plan here shouldn't be too hard. The problem is we need to get everything out of this section. We're going to have to nuke that if we want to uh, terraform the grassland back to desert. So we have to nuke this in this round. This is our last turn. We have to do that. So we have to get everyone out of these six tiles. But I think we can do that and still kill everything. I'm going to move this guy over here, and this will actually push that bug away so it'll no longer be attacking that building. Plus it gives the artillery some way to actually be useful. Perfect. Now, its attack is cancelled. Also, it can't do anything because it's in there. Now, this gets free... Oh, actually, no, not. let's not move you yet. First, we're going to do one attack with this mech. We're going to hit this thing for two damage, but it's then going to bounce off the other bug behind it and do, well, extra points of damage to both of them. So now they're both down to one hit point. We could finish them off, but we're not going to. Instead, uh, actually, let's finish them off. It's probably better. Uh, you two need to die. Perfect. Deaded. Now, we could just, you know, end the game there, but what I'd like to do is hit that guy. Where it's going to knock one hit point off our mech, but it's going to knock two off this guy. Dead as a doornail. And then this guy can just go, uh, yeah. Boom. Terraform the grassland back to desert. Gains us a point. Uh, we have defended the terraformer successfully. And that is a victory. Boom. Absolute slaughterage. I love the double attack on that mech. The double attack on that mech. So much more damage potential. Right. From what I've been looking around, or what I've been figuring out, those stars are more important than the power. The power upgrades this thing here, but the stars give us, well, buying stuff. So buying stuff is more important than not. Ooh, lightning storm. Protect the clinic and block Vex spawning three times. Okay, the block Vex spawning might be tricky, but... No, we can do this. We just gotta make sure to stand on top of their spawn tiles. Eh, what do you got? We have bug, bug, and... Oh, health bug. I hate health bugs. I think one here. Uh, we'll put the tank here probably as well, because they're probably either going to attack this, this, or that. So, yeah. Actually, what's the movement on you guys? Your move is three squares. One, two, three. Your move is five. Okay, one, two, three. Right, tank there. And then the artillery can go back. Ooh, let's put you there. Done. Let's see what you got in store for us, bugs. Pod incoming. Oh yeah, we gotta get that. That's probably a pod of some sort we want, or one of the power cores that would be really nice to have. And that's what a lightning storm is. So I presume whatever's standing in those yellow tiles at the end here is going to have a really bad day. And we would prefer not to be anywhere near that. Hmm. Well, this all seems fairly straightforward. Uh, oh, environmental damage is going to be first. So these things are going to strike, and I presume whatever's on them is going to take at least one damage or probably be destroyed if the past game is anything. You know what? Never mind. 
This is where we're going to use our double punch again. We are going to punch you really hard until you die from it. Bye bye, then everyone loses their health bonuses. You are going to go over here. And we're going to shoot this. And he's just going to go, oh, thank you for lining up my next meal. Smack! And dead it. And you, actually, we'll move you there. I think this would actually be a better location for you. And... Ow! Okay, so you get pushed back into that location, and you should get killed by whatever strikes next. I probably should have moved him actually closer. Okay, lightning storm, and... Lightning storm! Done, done, and done. Oh, I took out the mountain as well. Oh, I hate those things. Those things put out the little bomb yokies that I really don't like so much. Ooh. Okay then. Interesting. And we still have to block three Vex spawns. So I need to think really hard about this one. I think we can do something a little nicer. We'll just take care of the, the basics first. We're going to have to kill that thing. And the only way we can kill it is by shooting it from either the top or the bottom. If we try and shoot it from this side, of course, we'd, we'd push it into our own building. Uh, so that leaves us sort of here. You need to get shot and killed. Perfect. Now we want to block some spawns. So what I'd like to do is move our mech forward and smack that guy. Well, two things I'd like to do. Push this guy onto a spawn. But before we do that, we want to take our mech right here and push this guy out of the way. This will stop this guy from attacking that building while also placing us on top of a spawn. So now we're stopping a spawn and we've pushed him out of the way. And then at the same time, artillery strike at uh, that pushes that guy on top of a spawn as well. Done. So he's now on top of a spawn, which is stopping two spawns, which means we're going to win that up there as well. Uh, protect the clinic and protect the time pod. Okay. Doing okay, doing okay. Yeah, lightning's going to hit there, there. We're golden. And we block two spawns. Well, in a moment. Perfect. Well, big messes, big messes everywhere, of course, but I think we're in a pretty good position. Well, this has put us in a really awkward position. You see, we need to actually block one more spawn, and this is our last chance. It's round two. I haven't been paying attention. I should have, oh, I should have been working on that faster. However, I think we can still manage this. What we can do here is this guy's attacking a building. We need to stop him. Uh, this guy's attacking a building. We need to stop him, and that blob is going to explode and attack a building, so we also need to stop that. And I think we can stop all of them. We move our artillery here. And what this allows us to do is fire a shot right there. Kills one and knocks that guy into smoke. It can't shoot from smoke. Attack cancelled, so they can't attack anymore. Uh, fortunately, we're going to have to move here. Second. And then we can charge this guy. Uh, we'll... He's dead, he's no longer attacking the building, and we're on top of a, a spawn. So we're stopping a spawn from happening, which is good for us. And finally, we can put that guy right there. Boom! Stop that guy from blowing up and damaging the building. So now all we're left with is that guy, who's yeah, gonna do nothing. And we stop the spawn. Actually, I probably could have left him there, he just would have died. Oh, never mind. Right, last turn. Let's get ourselves a whole bunch of experience, preferably for the puncher mech, if at all possible. I think we can pile a little bit of experience on top of them. All we gotta do is get you. Move you one tile over, actually. Uh, bombs away. No, actually, we don't actually need to do that just yet, but let me show you why we want to do that. First, we want to hit this guy. Since uh, we've got double attack with this guy, we can do one attack, so long as we don't move, of course. We do our dash attack over here and smash this guy to death. Unfortunately, that leaves us standing on top of some annoying uh, lightning stuff that will kill us if we are not careful. What's that plus ammunition? Double shot. Yep, perfect double shot. All right, then we could punch this guy, but then we'll still be standing on top of this, which would be bad. So instead, we get this guy to land an artillery barrage right here. Micro missiles, whatever they are. This moves this back a tile, so when we do our second attack, we end up off the lightning tile. 
downside, this guy's still alive, and I can't figure out a way to put any damage on him, but we get to go over here and pick up that. We, we don't need it, but hey, I'll go for it. Uh, everyone else is looking good, and Punchy McPunchface is just doing beautifully. That was awesome. Actually, could you... You can't repair someone remotely, can you? Nope, you can only repair yourself. That's a pity. Well, it worked. We uh, protected the clinic. We did all this stuff. We get to end the turn. Yeah, the tank can't do anything. That's fine. Problem solved. Nice. And now we should get another reactor core out of this, right? Reactor core. Nice. Pod received. And Ghana. Deploy any part of the map damaging adjacent enemies plus one mech reactor. Oh. Warning seismic activity. Oh, great. Now we have to do the boss level. Let me just check out what we got, though. We got our hands on Ghana here. They're basically a commander that starts with plus one mech reactor. That's... Good. Uh, special. Require was one power. Deploy anywhere on the map damaging adjacent enemies. If we pay one power, they can just plop down anywhere on the map during deployment phase. Which sounds great, but I think what I'm going to do is replace this pilot. See, this pilot gives plus one mech move, uh, which is... Yeah, whatever, that's the thing. However, this guy comes with one power, one uh, reactor core. We could use preemptive strike, which would be nice, but we're not going to. Because putting that on a mech would be kind of stupid. Or, not a mech, an artillery piece. But with that one core we got, and the one we got from the pod, if we install that, we can double the damage. Meaning we hit three tiles, and we do two points of damage to each one of those tiles. That's... that's going to be pretty useful, I would say. So the combo of the double fisting that anyone can get from this, combined with the double damage that this is going to give across three tiles, and then, okay, there's this... this exists, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> We really have skimped on upgrading that. I, I, I swear, we'll, we'll do something with that next round. Or, or when we finish this. Now we just gotta go after the boss. Okay, you have... Wow. You three... You have six hit points. Actually, no, we can kill you pretty quick, I would say. If we can get you in the right position, we could absolutely monstrously murder you. Oh, I hate those things. They throw those explosive yokes and they're just so annoying. Right, uh, what's your range? I want to see what you can do. Actually, let me have a quick look. These things all have quite short movement reaches, like two, two, and three, so I'm thinking, uh, punch mech up front. I'm gonna put this tank at the rear, in case they, that, if that thing launches a big blob of explosives to the rear, that'll be really annoying for us to kill, so the tank should probably stay close enough back where it can do something. And then, our artillery mech should probably be about here. That gives them a decent amount of movement to cover just about anywhere. Yeah. That seems like the best bet. Okay, boss. Bossy MacBock fa boss face. Let's see what you do. Death it is. Yeah, you've gone there. That's irritating. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, Should have known. Okay, then. How are we going to handle this mess? The game has already decided that we're not winning this one. Um, I can't see a way to save this building from getting hit. Or w one of them. We either got to pick that building gets hit by that blob, or this building gets hit by this spider. Now, two ways we could go about this. One, we could uh, say, double punch this thing. And we'll knock it back to about here, or leave our mech somewhere around here, and this thing gets four damage to it, because that mech can't gain get over there. There's no way it can, it can close the distance. This thing can't also get a shot off on that thing, uh, which is a problem. And even if it could, it can only do one damage. Uh, so, plan was, move... Artillery over here, hit this for two damage. Move tank back here, hit that for one damage and kill it. Punch this thing twice to do four damage to it. And then this thing would get to shoot and hit our building for one. It would still have one hit point left. However, I think there's a better way we can do this. Instead of letting this shoot this building, we're going to ignore the blob. It'll do one damage, it'll blow up that building, that will be annoying, but we're going to get one damage to one of our buildings anyway. Instead, what we can do is we can kill this thing. I think we can do this. Um... It'll be slightly tricksy the way we do it, but it, it's it's possible. All right. What we do is we punch this guy. Knocks him back. Boom. And then we can double hit him. Wabalooey. So he's knocked back another tile. And then, well, we roll on forward. 
Uh, hello. And boom, we knock him back another tile. So now they're all the way back here, and instead of attacking these two buildings, they're attacking this guy. Perfect. Then his attack order is one, so he's going to attack first, and oh my god, I've messed this up. I'm going to have to reset the turn already. Um, you see, what we were supposed to do was put this guy, say, right about here. And this guy would go like this, and he would do two damage to this guy, so that when this guy attacked, he'd kill him. But unfortunately, yeah, that, that kills him, and then it scuppers us on all fronts. That was, um, that was my bad. That was my bad. Shouldn't have done that. Let's uh, just reset the turn. You can only do this once. God damn it. Can't believe I'm doing this in the very start. Okay, you. Uh, go there. Artillery shell, that guy. You. Punch. Punch. You. Forward one. And shoot this guy one time. And the way this should work is, due to initiative order, this guy will fire, kill him, so he never gets to shoot the building. Uh, this guy will explode, do one damage to that building. We were expecting one damage, and that should be the end of the turn. Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, he kills it, so that building saved. However, this guy explodes. Yeah, power lost. Ooh, what you doing? Oh, God, damn it! This is interesting. Okay then. Um, I say we kill them all. We can kill. Every single last one of them. Tank, come over here. And I want you to shoot that annoying blob thing. It's dead. Punchy, smack in the face time. Kaplow, there goes the boss. Then, we shoot this guy. Now, when we kill this guy, those two are going to lose hit points. Uh, so instead of being four, you're going to go down to three, you're going to go down to two, and you're going to go down to deaded. So you're down to three hit points, you're down to two. Now, while that's good for you guys, you're still pretty tough. This guy's going to do two points of damage to you, which kills you. And he's going to do two points to you and knock you back into the mountain. So, uh... Deaded and deaded some more. Ooh, That's a good... Re First round was rough. But, uh, after that, I think we have recovered nicely. Ooh, that's an alpha. It's got that little thingy on it. That means it's, like, extra toughy. Hmm... Right, we just have to... Oh, man, you've got... You've got five hit points, you've got two. So we can smack you, which won't quite kill you. Ooh, I think we can make this work. Okay, I'm going to do something incredibly dumb, but... Like, uh, I just think this would be better for us to actually win the round. That's all that really matters is us winning the round, and all we gotta do is protect the tower. That's literally it. We've already destroyed the leader, so we don't care about anything else. So, let's do something a little boring. Let's, uh, launch this guy back a square so he's standing on top. This stops the next bug from spawning. Also knocks a point of health off him. Then, um, we're, we're just gonna move there. We're gonna move this mech there, and we're not even gonna attack. Uh, actually, what can you move? No, you can't move there. Yep. We're going to move this mech there. We're not going to attack. This stops that bug from spawning as well. So we've prevented two bugs. That's uh, great. And that projectile is going to fly through there and do absolutely nothing. And this guy can... Well, you know what? Go over there, hit that guy, knock some forward to tile. Now, the reason I didn't just pound this guy to death is I could have punched him twice and then hit him with the artillery to kill him. Or even run the tank forward to kill him. But then we would have left all three of these spawning. It... Uh, it just wasn't worth it, in my opinion. Stopping two things from spawning while knocking him down to two hit points? Totally worth it. This means when you have to face one extra bug in the last round, which means we're pretty much guaranteed to win. Actually, does anyone need healing? No. No one needs any healing at all. Yeah, I know you've got punches. Like, But if we punch that guy, it knocks him off this tile? Which we don't want to do. So you know what? Keep your hit points, buddy. Ah, uh, you missed. You miss. Yep, that's fine by me. And now... Uh, Three of you tried to spawn. Two blocked enemies, and it's the last turn, so you guys don't get to do anything. Oh, this is going to be an absolute slaughter, I'd say. Okay, you are going to get punched to death. And you are going to get shot to death. And you are going to get artillery to death. Yeah, this is this is possibly the simplest ending. Like, uh, unless I'm, I'm messing things up here. No, this is definitely the simplest ending. You, punch that. Dead as a doornail. 
Perfect. You, uh, go back. Actually, we could do this two ways. You know what? This this seems like a more fun way to do it. You go there. Bug dies. You shoot there. Boom. Enemy's dead. And that is done. Uh, how's your experience looking? Plus one to the mech reactor. This guy's got plus one mech reactor, plus three grid defense. Finally leveled up to max. Well, plus three grid defense is not great, but we'll take it. End turn. Uh, actually, wait. You. Why not? It, it does nothing, but we'll use it. Uh, Vec hazard eradicated. Components have... Uh, be you have behaved admirably. Excellent. Understood. We've got a promotion. Perfect island. Now, it only gives you a perfect island if you complete it without... Does it? Ah, completing all the objectives. If you complete every objective, it doesn't matter if you lose buildings. What matters is that you complete the objectives. See those little stars and power symbols? As long as you complete those, complete those then you get the perfect island, which gives you a bonus, it seems. Uh, Riftwalkers uh, and everything we can offfer. You've earned my respect, Riftwalkers, and everything we can offer. Continue. Ooh, we get to choose between one of the three. Looking through here, this looks incredibly boring. Uh, it gives two shields. You can apply shields to some things. Thing is, it's a single use. Um... Oh, no, sorry. You can use it twice per battle, but it's only good for science class ships, and we don't have any science class ships, which means you'll have a power penalty, and it's not even good to begin with, so no. Plus two to the grid. I, I don't care. And Abe here. Plus one mech reactor to start. And the pilot mech gains armor. Armored. Reducing incoming weapons damage by one. Meaning they can tank one damage indefinitely. That's, um, when they start with a mech reactor. So yes, we'll take you. Perfect. Now it's time to spend reputation. Um... Ooh, what have you gotten? Weapons! Before we do anything, we're gonna swap in that new pilot we got. The one that gives the plus one mech reactor. That's just... That's always good. I mean, this guy's fine. Plus one mech move, plus two mech HP, but... HP's never really, really been our problem, and move is nice, but those reactors just add so much more. Now we get to spend reputation and sell off some of the older people. So, we can get rid of Ralph, we can get rid of Zoe. Those two, we don't need them anymore. Um, are you sure you want to permanently assign this pilot to the island? Grant's reputation, yes. And Zoe, yep, yeah, bye bye That gives us an extra two of these star points up here. Now what I would like to do is buy the shock weapon. This thing does one damage, which is the exact same as the current cannon we have equipped on our brute class weapon here. But it does, it hits two targets. So, yes, it's more complicated because it pushes things in opposite direction, but still, that's like, it can now hit two things, so it can do two damage. And the plus one damage upgrade only costs one power, as opposed to this thing. So, yes, we will take that, and if we stick it onto our tank here... Boom, we can, this guy's already got one point in it, so now we can double the damage on that thing. Get another two points. Beautiful. Oh, and that leaves us with nine points up here. We also have this cannon left over. Can we? Right, this thing can actually have both just in case. You know what? I am happy with that. We will keep that second gun just in case. Uh, that leaves us with nine points. That means we can buy three reactor cores. Perfect. And that means we can go over to our combat mech here. The uh, the big punchy, punchy mech punch base who can double punch people. And... Now they can double punch people for four damage instead of two, meaning they have the potential to do eight damage in a combat round. And if they can back someone up against a wall, they can potentially do ten damage. That seems, uh, seems useful. Seems very useful. I would like that. I was also tempted to put it on the mech. If the mech could double, this, uh, artillery piece could double shoot, it could theoretically say where it is, hit three people for two damage a piece, doing six damage, and then fire again and hit them for another, but like the odds of doing that, plus the difficulty of using it. This guy just murders things really quickly and efficiently, so yeah, we're just, we're, we're just gonna do that. We've spent all our reputation. Now, one thing we could do, actually, we could sell the, uh, the Taurus Cannon and buy ourselves a power grid upgrade. I just, I would prefer to keep it for now. I may be making the wrong, the, a mistake there, but, um, if in the next island we can do it. Yeah, so, leave the island. By completing two islands, you've unlocked Pinnacle Robotics. In future games, you will be able to visit unlocked islands in any order. Uh, final mission. After securing two corporate islands, the final mission is available to complete. Uh, the difficulty in this battle scales to your current progress. Fighting it now will be as much of a challenge as attempting it after securing additional islands. 
Huh. Securing more islands before the final mission will allow you to save more civilians and increase your final score. Hmm. I don't care about my final score. Let, let's go take on the final mission. What do we got here? Uh, you have a chance to wipe them out at their source. You are humanity's last hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Save me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, Volcanic Hive, last stand. No special additions for this mission. Let's do it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's check this out. Well, there's nothing to protect, so, um... Well, let's mech him. Uh, we'll put you there, I suppose? Actually... Mm. I want to make sure our artillery doesn't get tied up. That would be bad, so artillery can go back there. All right. Unauthorized landmass now being surveyed. Power grid access requested. What does that mean? Deploying remote power pylons. They'll keep you connected to the grid. Oh. Bugger. Well, that's a problem. Well, now we... I didn't realize we were going to have to protect power buildings. I was expecting us to just... Mm. Well... Bugger. We have several options for dealing with the enemies here. We could run our mech over here, pound that thing into the mountain and kill it instantly, which would be hilarious, but we'd still have this thing at the rear. I think I'd prefer to kill this one. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to see if this thing will attack straight into the water. If this thing runs straight into the water, that would be hilarious. And I would like to see if that's possible. So what we'd like to do is move you just a scooch over. Perfect. Ooh, looks like you're going to be going for a swim. Ah, good for you. Now, we're going to drive our tank forward and sit right on top of the spawn because they have armor plating, which means shouldn't bother them. So then we can... Actually, if we hit it with this, it would actually push it forward. That would be weird. Ooh, I'd forgotten we had this cannon. I mean, okay, if there was no building there, that'd be great. We could push it forward and then, well, it would block the spawn. Ah, I should have known about that. The fact that we can pull things forward is kind of fun. I gotta keep remember that. However, we do have the other cannon, so, um... Yep, go for a swim. Go fish, buddy. Go fish. Right, this guy can go back here. Punchy Mac punch face. Punch him in the face. Problem solved. Uh, two dead, and a third one that's going to hopefully go for a swim? Oh, wow. Magma. That's what that does. <laughs> oh, that is just priceless. Okay, fire, fire, and fire. All of that seems bad. What the hell? Okay, you, what What are you, Alpha Digger, and why did all of this stuff go weird colors? This is interesting. Uh, those volcano tiles are going to hit, well, first. They have first in, in order, and this tile here has a volcano projectile headed towards it, which means this thing's going to die before it gets to do anything. We can just ignore it. Um, in fact, I think what I'm going to do is just, well, put this guy here. Uh, why do you only have one hit point? God. I just realized that... Uh, this guy did actually take damage despite having the armor. Huh. Good to know. This is a bit of an odd duck scenario. Uh, see these yellow tiles here? Well, there's, there's actually a yellow tile under whatever creature that is. It's a volcanic projectile. Yeah, they go first. So that guy's going to burn. Uh, yeah, he's going to end up in lava and die. So we don't have to do anything to that guy. It, that's problem solved. Um, this guy, I don't even think he has to move. You see... We can, say, put him back one tile. And then we can just kill this fella. Bye-bye. So he's dead as a doornail. Uh, this guy can move forward. It's just, uh, he's going to have a bit of a problem now. See, the problem is, these guys are all in here, and they're trapped from getting out unless they're flyers. So let's just maybe smash this wall a little bit. Maybe in case we have to get in or out of there somehow. And you, let's repair you up. You can stop whatever's spawning there, which means we get three spawns over here. And that's all we've got to worry about in the next round. And let's hope that's... Oop, let's hope we've judged this right. Ooh. Right, blocked enemy. Oh, what are you? You're gold. What does gold do? Yeah, this is kind of to be expected. Oh, are all three of you lining up like that? That's hilarious. 
Because if all three of you are lining up like that, you know what I'm going to do, right? I mean, literally, there's an artillery piece back here. He just has to move back a few tiles, and you guys are, are all so dead. Hey, what's your passive? Um, all player units take one damage at the end of every turn. Well, you're about to die, buddy. We're going to move him back one. Artillery you. Anything else this needs doing? No, I, I, I think this is probably the most straightforward of any rounds of actions I have ever seen. You guys, uh... We're gonna kill one of you? Actually, yeah, we're gonna kill one of you immediately. You're gonna block the spawn of whatever's under there, and you are going to shell that tile. We could, of course, charge forward and punch that guy, but, um, don't see the point. I really don't. And over here, there's, a, a, something's gonna spawn, but you know what? Let's just repair up. I don't see any more reason for anything than that. Still, kind of tempted to go punch that guy in the face, but we don't need it. Yeah, I know there's actions available. Actually, wait. No, no. It's fine. Yep, yep. You missed. You missed. You died. And now we've just got two enemies left. Wow, you're on fire. Where did you come from? I, I take it you're new. Right. Slightly more complicated, but both of you can get killed instantly by artillery, which just leaves you with... Oh. Yeah, that, that should be fairly quick to kill you as well. This turned out super simple. I was expecting this to be a much more complicated mission, uh, though I feel like I'm jinxing myself by saying that. So you guys all just die. Dead as a doornail. Uh, this tile, no special effects are on it, so, um, oh wait. Ooh, I just realized we can push that guy to the side, but we can't really kill him. If we could, if we stand on that tile to punch him, ooh, do you know what? It's fine. We can, yeah, we'll just push him to the side. I am so glad we kept both these cannons, otherwise I would be pulling that guy into us. Which would do three damage, but wouldn't kill him and would still leave him in the way. So, um, yeah. See, the problem is we can't move that guy. Ooh, can we? What happens if we go through fire? Uh, we're not on fire. Like, we walked through the magma, which seems crazy, but... Yeah, never mind. The guy's dead. In fact, what am I doing? I could have just left him there. He would have got killed by the attack order, and I... Well, never mind. We got the experience out of it, sort of, maybe. Hey, incoming seismic. Yeah, I kind of figured there was something more than that going. Well, that seems a little dangerous. Thankfully, we all landed right beside each other. Sending down power pylons. Keep them operational. We don't have any more. Well, should you really be dropping them out of the sky like that, you absolute lunatics? Deploying a Renfield bomb. Defend it while it primes and it will destroy the hive. Right. Got it. Demolition authorization and defense of Renfield Tachyon explosive logged. Ow. Okie dokie then. Hmm. What do you got for us, you weird-ass bugs? Ugh, you do seem problematic. Ugh, you're way too... Actually, we could double-tap you and be done with you, which might be an idea. Let me think. We have a few options here, but only one that I can really see protecting everything. I mean, we could just punch that guy right in the face and knock him into the water. The, the lava, that would be hilarious, but it, it overkill. Instead... I'm going to use a, a little bit of uh, his own people against him. See, this guy's going to do two damage in a line. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop over here. We're going to punch him. He lands over here. And because of his attack order, he's going to attack first and kill that thing. Because he's an attack oh, initiative two. You've perfect. So we can ignore that guy. That just leaves these two over here, which leaves us with options on how to get them. Uh, we can't really use the artillery, though. The artillery has uh, that, uh, well, that triple thing across. So no matter what way we work that we're not hitting that guy which kind of limits our options on what we can do also we can't really stand in any of these locations because you know there's a whole bunch of things that are going to cause problems Ooh, so what we can do is just put this guy right here 
Uh, ooh. Yeah, that's probably our best bet. And then what we can do is we can hit him with a cannon and send him this direction. I can't really see any... I would prefer to use our shock cannon that would drag him towards us, but uh, that would leave him right where he is and still leave him at one hit point. Instead, knock him out of the way. He's now going to attack nothing. This is still pretty bad and not great, though. Uh, you can stand right there. Yep, yeah, there's perfect. You can artillery right here and you can kill that flyer. Boom. I think... That's as good as it gets. So you should kill this guy first. Oh, wait, yeah, the rocks have to fall. They'll kill anything on their way. Unfortunately, we couldn't get bugs to go into any of those locations. That would have been really convenient. You end up dead. And then we get... Oh, you miss. And then we get three spawns. This is going to be a rough round. It's going to be a very rough round. Oh, God. Please try and attack him. If you all try and attack Punch Face, you'll get punched in the face and he can kill, like, a whole bunch of you really quick. That would be very convenient. Okay then. So, uh, you are. Where are you going? You're going to attack that building. You're going to attack him. Hmm. Options, options, and options some more. Well, well, there's. Well, there is some interesting options here. Well, one thought I had was uh, use this cannon to drag that guy forward. Then artillery shell both of those to knock two points off them, to knock them all back into line. So all three of them would be in a perfect line. And then have him go smash, smash, and this would kill all three of them. Unfortunately, that would that would leave this bug alive to attack this power pylon, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Uh, it would be super cool, but it's not it's not what the game's about. No, what we're going to do here is, is we're going to, like, kill as many bugs or protect the, the base. So we want to protect this, and we want to protect this, and this. Which means we have to do some rather boring defensive procedures. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, we can kill this guy by just going... Ba-bing! We're going to shoot him to do two damage, and that'll draw him towards us, which will do one damage to us, but kill him as well. So that's perfect. And we get out of the way of that ground tile, which is about to get turned into tentacle environmental lava stuff, which would be bad for us. Uh, then what we're going to want to do is move this guy, I think, to about there. I want him nice and central so he can uh, do some good killing next round. You guys all get knocked out of the way. Kills one. Gives him a bunch of experience. Gets him up to 44. He's almost maxed out. This guy gets knocked back, which means he's going to attack a rock. Good luck with that. And that frees up this guy, who can... Ooh, I'm not sure who we want to kill. This guy or this guy. We, we literally can kill either of them, but I don't know which one I want to kill more. I think... This guy. I mean, there's, there's this guy here. There's going to be an enemy spawning there. We'll leave that guy there. That means he's pretty centrally located. They are a bit of a monster killer. So, killing that guy means we've got three enemies around us in close proximity, so hopefully he can get off two shots next round. Uh, this guy's only got to deal with one guy over here, so I think... Yeah, this is end of round three, so we're pretty close to the end. Jump, jump, jump. Yep. Well, you're gonna miss, and you're gonna attack a rock. Does it hurt you? No, it does not. Well then. Hmm. I think this is ve oh wow, this is very doable. Ah, the fact that we've got lava under our puncher mech makes things a little bit more inconvenient, though. Hmm. This is actually rather nasty. This thing here can do three damage, and it's lobbing a shell all the way over here to this building. And we can't get to it. Uh, this guy here can't get a shot, and he could try standing there, but if he does, he's going to die. So we'd have to sacrifice a mech. And I don't think I'm willing to sacrifice a mech for two power. We can eat the damage if needs be. So this guy could hit him, but if he does hit him, he'd have to, well, stand somewhere. He'd, like, he can't actually do it without destroying some stuff. Uh, this guy can't get to him either. We're just trapped in a position where we can't get to that guy. It's very frustrating. However, there are a few things we can do to make our lives a little bit easier. Uh, for one thing, what we can do is we can move this tank here. And we'll shoot this guy forward one tile. It'll shoot him back. This will put him on top of that spawn tile, which means whatever's there is not spawning next round. That's one damage to you. Uh, then what we can do is put this guy over here. And we're going to punch him. Perfect. So now that guy's down to one hit point, And he's going to stop a spawn, which will kill him. Uh, and this guy over here. Uh, I think your best bet is maybe just launch a little bit of an attack right there and now that guy gets pushed off that tile no longer tower getting that power plant and now he's going to stop that spawn 
I think that's a good result. Uh, this, oh, that power plant is totally dead. Just absolutely annihilated. Uh, but I think we'll be down to two living things on the map. Actually, three living things on the map for next round. So we should be able to stop anything else they throw at us. Hopefully. And we avoided getting swished, swished by rocks. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, you missed. And now there's a spawn. So you die. You take one point of damage. And now we're left with one newbie. Right. Seriously? How is there more stuff spawning? Oh my god. Uh, we just have to kill what's here and... Well, we can lose afford to lose three more power. That's it. Let's get to it. Well, we're also going to take damage on buildings again. I can't figure a way out of this. Uh, quite sneaky. The AI is being annoying this time around. Uh, you, uh, shell that guy. That stops him from attacking the building. Also kills him. Uh, due to their valiant efforts, I am upgrading several parts to full systems. Hey, they got some extra... They actually maxed out. Huh. Oh. Uh, in that case, you come forward here. You're going to sit on top of that uh, spawn point. And you're going to shoot that guy. Knocks him back, so he's targeting some lava. That's fine by us. And you... Oh, we could stop a spawn, but honestly, this is the last round. And since that thing's going to attack this and... Actually, undo that move. See, we can't really get a line on this where we don't hurt one of our own people or do something. So I'm just going to put him there and punch him into the building. It happens. You know what? I was... I prefer to be the one punching him into the building than him doing it. So, end the turn. Now, that should be it, right? Victory in one turn? Uh, I recommend you leave now or share your grave with the Vec. Okay. Our war is not over yet. Keep traveling. Keep fighting. Oh! Yeah, let's get out of here before this whole place blows. Yep. I think we got him. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you can see the blast from orbit, that usually means you've got the target. Unless the target is bigger than the planet. Jesus. Okay. Thanks to the valiant, valiant efforts of Silica, Abe, and Gannett. What about the other people who helped out? Uh, island lives protected. Total Earth life saves approximately 4.6 billion. Well, that is fine. Timeline saved. Select one pilot to continue. Ooh, that is a tough choice. And by tough, I mean silica. Just obviously silica. A mech that can act twice is just terribly overpowered. That is, uh, that is the way. Oh, my, how did I not get ramming speed? Kill an enemy five or more tiles away with a dash punch. Ah, uh, that is just, mm. Oops. Oh, I get what they're at here. There's basically achievements tied to all of the squads. So, for example, this is the Rift Walkers we're using, right? There's three mechs that come with them. They start with their own site type of weapons, and when you're playing them, you want to get three watery, three enemies knocked into water. You want to kill a pu an enemy by hitting them with a punch, ramming speed punch from five tiles away, and uh, complete the first corporate island. So long as you do those, you get these coins. Oh, and you also get uh, victory medals based on how many islands you complete. So complete two islands before you win, complete three, or complete four. So if you want to get all the medals and all the coins, you see these coins here you get for doing the achievements for that. That will allow you to give these coins here to unlock all of these additional squads, uh, including the secret squads and all this stuff. So to get enough coins to unlock everything, you'd probably have to do all the achievements. So what you want to do, it's not just starting the map and then seeing, like when we were on the maps, we always had two objectives or sometimes three in the corner. What you want to also have is these objectives that you want to complete by the end. So basically, what I need to do is go back, play the Rift Walkers again, but complete four islands and make sure I get someone with a ramming speed kill from five tiles away with a dash punch. And that, that will allow me to knock out all of those achievements. Ah, bugger. Going through this again, the game has changed entirely. I also ticked all the boxes for weird stuff to happen, so now we've got weird stuff happening. Uh, we've also got different weapons. This time we've got an ice generator, which I've just... Uh, managed to get my hands on. We've doubled up the damage on the Taurus cannon and we've gone with buildings immune on this. Let's just, uh, let's try this weird stuff on an, uh, actually an ice area for our ice generator. Yes, why not? And they're weird people and we will go with cryogenics lab. Freeze and defend both robots. What? Hey, okay. I swear this is the last I'm going to do with this game until, uh, what the hell are you guys? Laser bots? Huh. 
Oh, that's a freeze tank. So the free... Yeah, we're supposed to use the freeze tank on... Hmm. Okay, put you there. Put you there. Artillery can go in the rear. Confirm. Oh. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Now, you have this freeze thing, which... That would affect a lot of people. Including our tank, which we would prefer not to freeze right now. Uh, still, that is pretty cool. You know what? Let's uh, let's try freezing a few things anyway, just because we can. Uh, I, I may not continue this run. Uh, you. Yeah, I want you to... Actually, can we maybe get the other guy as well? I uh, get a slightly different approach. Let's put this guy here. Freeze that target. Unit is frozen. Cannot move or attack and will remain frozen until it takes damage. That is perfect. You... Can pop right over there, and yeah, let's freeze this place up. Uh, right click, yep, 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 do it, do it. Oh, I love the little snowman icons. Perfect. Unfortunately, it does freeze us also. Minor problem. Also, I think we've frozen everything, so there's nothing we can actually kill. Oh, freeze and defend both robots. Well, yep, we've uh, frozen and defended both robots. I think that has been successfully achieved. Uh, you can now... Ah, actually, you can now... Shoot that guy! You're free! <laughs> this is so dumb. Okay, let's just end the turn and see what happens. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with them now that they're frozen. I should probably start breaking them open and killing them. Actually, we don't have to break them open and kill them. So long as they're not going to attack the ice, I'm not going to attack the ice either. Um... That seems kind of broken. We basically just neutralized three enemies instantly and didn't have to do anything. Unless something attacks them. Which we're not going to do. Uh, we're not going to try anything too complicated here, I'm thinking. Uh, say... Ooh. Yep, you can go here. Uh, you can... Actually, you can charge forward. You can smack that guy in the face. Then you can open fire. Actually... Perfect. Uh, that guy's gonna... Oh, he's still targeting our guy? Ooh, that's a problem. In that case, you need to freeze. Perfect. And... I suppose artillery can just do that. Huh. So we can just keep freezing enemies forever and ever and ever? This seems kind of weird. They've only got two enemies still mobile. We've frozen all the rest. Oh, that guy's about to attack that. That could be a problem. I wonder if we can stop him from attacking that somehow? You see, it says up here, freeze and defend both robots. So we've frozen them. That's great. But now I'm thinking we got to stop that guy who's about to target all three of them. Or he's about to fire at those three spots with acid. So if we shoot him to death... Less of a problem. And we'll move our freeze tank over here, and this guy, I'm not even sure. Actually, this guy, this thing blocking everything is making it really hard for us to move around. Uh, supposed to just stay there? Yeah. Um, can, anyone, can anyone heal? No, no one, no one can heal. Yeah, I suppose we're doing nothing this turn. Right. This looks fairly handy, actually. Well, um, we suppose the simplest thing to do, let's just ice up that guy. He can't attack the building. This guy's not even attacking a building. He's attacking that thing. Uh, that is attacking a building, but they're not going to be able to do anything to the building because the building's encased in ice. And, well, this guy will just shoot him. I mean, now, now he's even missing the ice and he's going to attack that critter for us. So, yeah, I think that's the last turn. That may have been a little bit... Okay, I think using an ice weapon combined with having an ice tank made things just a little bit easier. Perfect! So anyway, that was Into the Breach. I think I'm probably going to play a little bit more of this on the side because it's kind of addictive looking, though 
I, I think my fear is that it would get so complicated that it, it would take me hours to play a game. I get that analysis paralysis thing of just staring at the screen trying to figure out what the best optimal move is and wasting too much time instead of just enjoying myself and playing through. But uh, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Good luck.